Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue. And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about how to find and work with influencers. So influencer marketing is becoming a hot topic. You know, I've I've actually talked to a couple people over here. You know, there's I have a friend that I actually met with last week and he, you know, they're they're working on an influencer platform. And I talked to another friend, uh, actually a mutual friend that that both Neil and I know, and he actually is he has kind of his own influencer platform as well. So it's, it's a big deal, right? And if you think about it, just to give a little history on, on influencer marketing, it's always been around, right? If you look at, you know, celebrity endorsements, you look at how athletes, um, you know, are endorsing kind of, you know, Sprite, for example, um, or, you know, Coca-Cola, you know, influencers have always, always been around. But the fact that, you know, you can now, uh, you know, these quote unquote influencers are now on YouTube as well. And, you know, anybody can become an influencer after putting in the work. Um, the question is, how do you go about and, and find these influencers or work with them? So... An easy way to do this, if you don't want to pay for any tool at all, right now you can just go to, you know, open your, up your Instagram, open up your YouTube. Um, with Instagram, you can just search for hashtags and look for people that are up and coming. So you want people that are trending upwards that aren't too big yet that you can start to work with because then the costs aren't going to be too expensive. You're looking for kind of high growth rates, you know, high engagement rates over time. And then, you know, you're, you're looking to do the manual work here. You can do the same thing with YouTube as well. Or you can go with a, a paid tool, which we can talk about uh, in a little bit. Neil? Dude, have you ever done influencer marketing? The only influencer marketing that we've done, we've done it for, for some of our clients. Um, and, you know, we'll use a tool like uh, FameBit, for example, or we might do kind of hand-to-hand combat. Yeah, I've only done influencer marketing mainly on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I haven't ever tried anything where, like, you find a celebrity and you try to get them to, like, do something, right? I know I reached out to Kim Kardashian's team, and they wanted 200 and something thousand dollars for her to post on Instagram. Um, I tried getting the whole family for a half a million bucks. They wouldn't do it. Uh, and they would just hold up the sign, like, who is Neil Patel? And, you know, I think that would create more brand awareness. Probably not the right type of people, but, eh. You know, I thought it would have been a fun experiment. But what I found is it's so expensive to reach out to people and pay them, unless, like, you're good at negotiating. To these tools mark up the rates way too much, and I hate using them. So I like trying to find someone who is already popular on some of these social networks that are connected with the people you want to advertise with and pay them to go and get you their friends, their network, because it's so much cheaper, right? I do that with Jess and you've met Jess, Eric. It's like some of the rates that I'm getting on social media, like with Instagram, when someone has million, two million influencers, like 400 bucks for someone to keep the post for 24 hours. And what you can do as well, I mean, let, let's say, for example, you're looking to build an entrepreneur channel, right? Um, and so there's different categories, right? You have fitness, you have health, you have, uh, you know, you have business, you have lifestyle as well. All you need to do, I mean, think of a few hashtags here, right? Look, if, if I'm trying to build a, an entrepreneur Instagram right now, you just search for, you know, hashtag entrepreneur. You might search for hashtag uh, kind of business or hashtag startup. Look who is, you know, getting a good amount of engagement reach out to these people, DM them, and then ask them, you know, what are the rates for, for paid shouts? And they'll give you the rates. Literally, like they will, it's copy and paste. They will have the rates for, hey, here's a 24-hour post. Here's a 72-hour post. Here's what it looks like. And once, the, the idea here is that once you've figured out the process, hand this off to somebody else because it's a really thankless job. Think of it as almost doing uh, outreach for link building uh, or think of it as doing PR. You want to hand this off to somebody as quickly as possible, but it will pay off in spades uh, once you have something working well for you. Keep in mind with influencer marketing, doing it once doesn't work. I tried it. I lost money. Almost everyone who's done it. Like I was at a conference and we met this guy, what is it called? Fit T. So that T product that everyone's holding up. And he actually said something that I knew, but most people don't think about. He's just like, yeah, he's like, the reason we do better than our competition is they blow money on influencer marketing. After a few months, they realize they're not making money and they quit. He's just like, I got started when it was early, so I didn't have as much competition. And when he ended up doing it, right, he was talking to me. He's like, yeah, I got started early. There was no competition. And I learned that once you did it for or once you do it for a few years, the effect is huge. And he's right. If you look at Visa, McDonald's, Pepsi, everyone, when they're using celebrities, these guys just don't do it once or twice. They do it consistently over years. And that's when you get an ROI. 
And the other thing you don't want to forget about as well if, is if you're doing influencer marketing, especially on Instagram or if you're doing it on YouTube, you have to have content as well. If you don't have good content and you get these other people pushing you, if they come to your page and you don't really have much going on, that's money that's wasted. So you have to figure out how you can add value to that audience once that audience shows up um, at your door. So that's something to to consider as well. Um, and there are there's actually pricing guidelines on how much you should be paying uh, influencers on YouTube, for example, which could be you know let's say you know a couple hundred thousand dollars for you know one post collaboration, um, and then you know on Facebook and then on Instagram as well. So I think that is if you put influencer marketing uh, pricing chart, you should be able to find that uh, on there, there's a couple sites out there that will show it but um, it's, it's good insight as to you know what you can expect if you're looking to get started with it but don't forget about good content you know anything else to add no that's pretty much it all right before we hop off uh, we have one free tool giveaway again this is for a one year annual subscription of lead quizzes which allows you to collect leads off the quizzes that it makes for you which is really simple to use all you need to do hit uh, the subscribe rate and review options for this podcast And to confirm that you did it, just text marketing school, that's one word, marketing school to 33444, and we'll confirm a winner each week on the list. Go ahead, Neil. So one thing you mind when Eric and I are doing these giveaways, again, I know we've mentioned this in the past, we don't make money on this, this isn't a paid promotion, we're just giving you stuff that we use and it works for us. I remember when I did the Nutrition Secrets 100K Challenge, that was a long time ago. So the guy from Lead Quizzes hit me up and he's like, dude, you're gonna get a lot of emails from it, it's awesome. I was like, yeah, all right, sure, it's all bullshit. Tried it out, he created it for me for free at the time. And I kid you not, it was our largest lead source. Uh, and I forgot the percentage that it increased email signups, but it was significant. It was like either in the 100 percentile, like a few hundred percent. Um, I know it was greater than 50 percent increase in email collection rate. I do know it was less than like 400 percent. I know that's a really big range. Uh, I do apologize for not being able to give you the exact range, but nonetheless, it was something big. If you want to actually find that case study, you can just search for Neil Patel Lead Quizzes case study, and they've written up about it. I, I think I remember reading it. Exactly. I'm like, I know it's somewhere on the web. I just don't know what the rate increase was, but it was responsible for the majority of our emails. I was like, all right, not too bad. All right. Awesome. So just make sure you follow those directions. Again, Marketing School, one word to 33444, and we will see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.